What's up YouTube, it's Anthony here from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 41st Java programming tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys about a little bit more about the this keyword. Um, basically we're just going to be incorporating it into our getter and setter methods. And uh, basically what this program is going to do is you're going to be passing, it's going to be a really boring program actually, so just bear with me. Uh, basically you're just going to be passing your name into a method and it's going to set uh, a variable, a global variable, um, to that name. And basically, you're going to be able to access that name through a getter and uh, print it on the screen in a little string. So it's kind of boring, but it's a useful concept when we get into game programming because we're going to be using getters and setters constantly, um, especially when you're updating velocity, updating um, acceleration of your player and everything or whatever, whenever you're updating variables, you're going to be using getters and setters. Uh, so make sure you have your other class opened up. And the first thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to make a global string variable. So actually we'll make a private because we want, that's just good programming practice. You should be making your variables private. Um, so yeah, make sure you do that. And we'll call it name next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your setter method. Now your setter is going to be public because you want to be able to access it in the other uh, class or what's the point if you made it private you won't be able to do anything with it anyway. Um, then we're going to make a void because we don't want to return anything. We're just going to be setting a name to it and we'll call it set name. And then we're going to be passing in a name so we're going to have to put a parameter of string s and then put down your curly braces. Now, the only thing different from this tutorial, from the last getter and setter tutorial, is that we're going to be using the this keyword that we just learned. Because usually in Java, this is just the way it's done. You use the this keyword whenever you're getting and setting stuff. So you're going to go this dot name is equal to s. So that is how uh, this name variable is going to be getting a value. Is you're going to be passing a value in these parameters and it's going to get set to the name variable right out here. Next thing we want to do is we're just going to want to um, get a, make a getter. So to do that we're just going to go public because we want to access it in the other class again. And then string because we're going to be returning a string value um, back to the back to the computer. So public string and then get name. No parameters because we're not going to be passing anything in. And we're going to want to make a simple little return statement. So return. And then we're going to, instead of just putting name, we're going to use this dot name. So basically, we're using this keyword to explicitly say, OK, name is a global variable. And that's the one we're going to be accessing. So that's why we're using it. And uh, so let's go into our main method. And we'll print that thing out. So let's make a tomatoes object. So tomatoes t is equal to new tomatoes. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to call those methods. So t dot set name. So we'll sell it, set it to Billy Bob. And um, what did I do wrong? Oh, I forgot to make a static. Yeah, I always make that mistake. And um, yeah, and then we're just going to print it out. So we're going to go s out. And then we're going to go t dot get name because we're going to want to get the name, well, get the name variable through the method. And then basically all that's going to do is it's going to print it out on the screen. It's just going to print out Billy Bob or whatever you put in there. Um, so there you go. That's pretty much it. I'm going to go over this program one more time for you guys just in case I lost some of you. And uh, so first off, we just made a private variable. You should be making your variables private because it's better form, it's better programming practice, everyone says, to make your variables private instead of keeping it public. Um, and then we just made a setter. If you guys don't remember how to make a setter and that was all foreign to you guys, you guys better head back to my 27th tutorial and look at getters and setters. And this tutorial should make more sense. And instead of just going name is equal to s, we did this dot name is equal to s just to explicitly say we want to use a global variable and then over here we made a getter in order to 
get the actual name variable and we use that to print it out onto our screen and we use the setter to just set the name. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, I'm almost always on YouTube now because I, I really like making tutorials for you guys. It's pretty fun. And um, if you guys haven't already, again, uh, check out my, my website, compsystudio.com, and comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.